if you've got any patches like this that just need a quick overseeding, I've got a really simple trick that you can do to get the best results. I've put a lot of time and effort into my lawn and the results are really starting to pay off. But I've gone to show you a couple of little patches like this one here that no matter how much effort you put in and how much you follow the textbook, it's a natural product and we're dealing with nature which can be unpredictable. So I want to fill in some little spots like this and I want to show you some of the things that I like to do just to keep the seed in place and get them grown rapidly. first step of the process is going to be around giving the lawn a bit of a trim so if we just give it a cut because we want to give the uh, new seedlings a rest from mowing for a week or two and we don't want the existing grass to be too long so let's just give that a quick trim and then we can see where the ball spots are a little bit easier and we'll know what we're working with. first put the seed down at the start of April and I was worried that there were some patches especially around this middle area that wasn't taken. I decided to hold back because I wanted to kind of prove the quality of the products that I was using and also believe in the process that when you put the seeds down they will take and they will come through. But I've got a couple of little spots here and here, some there and there and just this one here. So the first thing is I'm going to go and grab a garden fork. So I'm just bringing in a regular garden fork and I'm going to focus on some of these patches down here. All I'm going to do is basically just make some little holes in these areas. And what that's going to do is just help the seed sit in these areas and stay in these areas. So you can see these little holes I've made here. I don't know what the root cause is of the seed not taking in these spots. Um, we did have huge amounts of rain this month and maybe it's just moved some of the seeds around. So what these little holes are going to do is just help keep the seed in the places that we want them. Um, they're going to give them somewhere safe and give a little bit of protection from the birds and also help with the moisture retention from some of the heat that we've got coming down. So basically I'm going to spike these holes, drop some seed in, give them a good water in and then in maybe 10 days or so with this sort of temperature these spots will really start to thicken in. If you come in closer you can see over in these beds some of the seed has just washed off the edge of the lawn. I've recently just done a video on how I'm edging all of these lawns so if you're interested in that I'll leave a link in the card above but this is typical for maybe where there's a bit of slant or gradient on the soil and using this spiking method can be a really useful tool to keep the seeds in place and stop them running off. So with all that being said I'm just going to go and spike all the uh, areas that I need to spike and then we'll move on to the next step of the process. One of the other benefits of uh, cutting the lawn first is you can actually kind of use these uh, stripes as a track to know where you uh, need to fork and where you need to drop seeds down and it just helps me know which areas I've covered and which areas I haven't. So after I've spiked the areas I'm going to just fill in those little holes with some of the grass seed that I used to initially overseed my lawn about six to eight weeks ago and quite quickly with these temperatures and a bit of rain those patches are going to fill in in no time at all. If you're interested in any of the products that I've used to get this lawn in this way, um, I've left a couple of affiliate links and links to my own lawn care shop in the description below. And uh, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I post everything that I do to the lawn uh, live on YouTube so you can kind of see my journey over time and hopefully pick up some tricks for yourself. So I'm just going to drop a small sprinkling of seeds into some of the holes that I've made and that's going to give them somewhere safe to germinate and uh, yeah, hopefully fill in the lawn in a couple of weeks time. You 
can see now here, these areas, especially the ones right on the edge of the borders here, have just got some holes and the seed has just dropped down roughly into those spots. And hopefully that whole area there will, will thicken in in a couple of weeks time. Now, I'd like you to leave me a comment down below. How successful has your renovation been this year and what type of problems have you been facing? Hopefully I'll be able to answer any questions and also uh, I like to learn as well from making these videos. So uh, do feel free to point out anything that you've seen. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. It's Matt the Garden Lawn Care Guy and I'll see you in the next video.